Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this video recording I'm going to explain to you guys how to use WavePad to mix music together. When you install the software, make sure that you are choosing the free version and don't bother to install any additional software that it might ask you to install. You really don't need it at all. Okay. Normally this is paid for software, but because you are, this is a non-commercial use, um, it's free for you to use. Now once you open it, uh, you have to first import whatever music you want to edit. So I happen to have a Shakira song here. I'll just drag it over. Okay. You also have the option of simply opening up the file and going to that location, opening up another song. In this case, so you can see that I've opened up two separate music files. But let's just look at one of them for now. WavePad is very basic to use. You simply just select whatever you want to cut. And you can hit delete to cut it out. It shortens it. If you want to undo it, you just go to edit and just undo delete. Or just hit control Z, which is much easier. And it brings it right back. Okay. If you want to be more precise about what you cut, simply zoom in. There's, there's a little magnifying glass, and you can be precise about exactly where you want to cut your music. So in this case over here, if there's a certain portion that I don't want, I can wait for that portion to be over. I'll zoom back out. And I'll select that I don't want this entire portion, and then I will delete it. Okay. Now, if I wanted to mix the second song into the first song, well, in this case over here, let's just minimize that and take a look at my second song. If I look at my second song, let's say I wanted this portion of my second song. All I have to do is simply copy and paste it over into the first one. I could copy, control C. Now wherever you want to paste it, let's take a look back on this one over here. We'll zoom out a little bit. Wherever I, I leave my selection tool, that's exactly where it will paste. So in this case, I'll leave it over here and hit edit. And then I'll hit paste, control V. And then the entire portion that you selected will now copy over. So end on the first song. Okay. Now, to make the transition a little bit smoother, you have some options of fading in and fading out. So if I select this portion over here, I can click on the fade button and fade in. And then the previous portion over here, I can select that portion over here, click fade and fade out. And then ultimately, whatever music you're mixing together might sound a little smoother as it ends one and it starts the next one. And after you insert the fade, don't forget if you zoom in, if you don't want that little break in between, you can always just highlight it. You can always delete out any sort of silence that you don't want. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is about amplifying your music, which is on this selection right here. Now, when you mix different music together, sometimes they'll be at different volumes. So all you have to do is select whatever portion you want to change and amplify. You can either make it louder or softer. Softer if it's below 100%, louder if it's above 100%. Just click Apply, and it'll change the volume for that portion. Okay, so when you mix all the music together, you want to make sure that overall the volume is matching for both songs. After you're done, go to File, and you just simply want to save file as. Now over here, make sure you choose MP3. Okay, and whatever you save it, make sure you don't accidentally save over the original ones. This will just be a test MP3 over here. I'll save it. It'll ask me what bit rate to use. 128 is more than sufficient for our purposes. Make sure you choose stereo. 
and then afterwards you save it onto your desktop and then now you have a brand new song okay if you have any questions about what else to do with wavepad or if you need any other help just ask me and I'll be happy to help thank you